Okay, so we've seen that the CR3 gives us the physical address of the page map level four. And we know from the previous table section that for any given linear address, the top nine bits are gonna be used to index into the page map level four to find the page map level four entry. So let's go ahead and enhance. What's inside the page map level four entry? Well, it could look like two things. The first and most important bit here is the present bit. If the present bit is equal to zero, then it'll all these other bits are just ignored and any attempt to translate a linear to virtual address that hits one of these entries like this with present zero will cause a page fault and interrupt 14. And it might be recoverable, it might not be, we'll talk about that later. And so only if present is equal to one are any of the rest of these bits actually interpreted by the memory management unit. So in general, you would expect that in the page map level four, an operating system would basically just zero initialize everything, and then it would only fill in the entries that correspond to virtual to physical mappings that it wants to actually make. Everything else should be default invalid and cause some sort of error when someone tries to access it. All right, so bit one here is the read write flag. And I have highlighted or I've bolded the write here to indicate that if bit one is equal to one, it means that writes are allowed. I highlight that because it's not exactly intuitive, you know, whether or not the, the one would mean, you know, it's reads only or read write, could be either way. And it's actually this next bit, the user supervisor, it's when it's one, it means it's user space instead of supervisor kernel space. So anyways, just to try to make it a little bit more memorable for you later on, so you don't have to keep re-looking up the definition. Throughout the slides, it should have bolding to, when I say the, the read write flag, one means writable, one means user space here. So any attempt to write to a read write equals zero. Therefore, if it's zero, it is not writable, it's read only. Any attempt to do that would again yield a page fault interrupt error that the operating system would have to deal with. User supervisor flag, if it's zero, then only the supervisor is able to access the particular page. And if it's one, then user and supervisor are allowed to access. So one means user can access it, otherwise it's a supervisor only thing. Again, attempts to access it with, you know, if you're in user space and the bit is zero, which would mean that, you know, it is not user space, then that would cause a page fault. There's also the execute disable bit up here at bit 63. This was actually added to 32-bit systems up at bit 31 uh, before it was added, in, added as part of the 64-bit uh, extensions. So if this is one and the MMU is walking through this page table on its way to fetch some assembly instructions, then it will say, no, this instruction fetch cannot occur. This is supposed to be a non-executable and execute disabled area of memory and therefore it'll throw up a page fault again. So this was originally called the no execute bit on the AMD systems when the extension was added. So you may frequently see this bit referred to as NX instead of XD. So if you took this execute disable bit and you spread it around on your various page tables for the shared memory area that we were talking about before, ultimately it is the first bit that is encountered by the MMU as it's walking the page tables, which takes the precedent and which effectively influences all the downstream uh, permissions. Put another way, it's ultimately the most restrictive permissions which take effect. So if the very top level page map level four entry had the execute disable bit, then everything else in that virtual memory address space would be execute disabled. If on the other hand, it was zero, then you know you could keep walking down. Okay, that's zero, that's zero, that's zero. Okay, this should be executable. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, that should be executable. Zero, 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 one. Okay, no, that's not executable. Right, so basically the most restrictive thing all the way up at the highest level that affects all the downstream stuff. So if you ultimately want these things to be executable, it should be sort of the, the last levels of translation which are ultimately set as non-executable. Okay, so within this page map level four entry, bits M minus one to 12 are the physical address 
where the page directory pointer table can be found by the MMU. Again, just like with CR3, this is a physical address. It's not a virtual address. You can't easily access it. It's sort of an operating system generally sets up these tables and ultimately has their own little ways and workarounds in order to you know, write to these entries, but this is a physical address. It's not something you will be able to trivially view within the, uh, within the debugger, for instance. And again, just like everything else here, because it's using these top bits and leaving these bottom 12 bits for use of flags, the expectation is that this page directory pointer table will be aligned on a hex 1000 page aligned boundary.